I just ate breakfast. I had pigs in a blanket. I know. Uber healthy, but I'm hungry. Must have been hungry because I usually don't eat around oh, until around like 9. And it's just 7.43. But I have like a million things to do today. Like seriously, I do. I have like so much crap to do. I have to finish washing some laundry. Because everybody decided at the last minute that they needed stuff washed. I want to make my bed because you know when you get back from like on a camping trip and especially like a long one and you have like a brief moment where you're at home and then you have to go and do something else and then you come back. I know I'm going to want a nice clean bed to sleep in so I want to wash my sheets. I want to wash the towels so we have nice clean towels when we come back so we can shower um, and you know get ready for church and stuff later. Um, I have to of course do all the dishes because well you just need to do your dishes. <laughs> I want to just clean up everything so when we get back we don't have that worry on us. Um, and then I have to finish packing the bags um, from everybody's laundry and get that loaded in the car. I'm trying to gather up supplies for like um, our meal because we're going to grab a pizza and just do pizza on the way to the camp. I have so many things to do. Ugh. But I got the kids sent off to school. Brody has a field trip today. So I got all of their lunches packed. Um, with a little bit of extra snack stuff in there, and then we're supposed to meet at the Boy Scout hut. I think that's what it's called, hut, center, place. At like four, well the kids get off the bus at four, so we're going to be a little late, so I told them, I was like, when you arrive home, you need to use the bathroom, wash your hands, get something to drink, we're out the door. So, yeah. It's going to be a very, very busy day, but I'm going to try to get everything done and record as much of it as I can. So today's vlog is probably going to be like really crazy and chaotic and probably not make a lot of sense, but... Just go with it, okay? We're just gonna go with it. Riley is busy shopping right now. <laughs> he has this magazine that came in the mail that has, what is this magazine? It's this one. Yeah, it has all this like cool stuff in there. Like he's been like scribbling on the paper, marking stuff. What are you buying? Uh, huh, what are you gonna buy? Yeah, I would love to repaint these floors. Don't mind my utility room floor. I would love to repaint these. I have laundry over here, my comforter and stuff. Yeah, you buy a truck? Cool. Alright. Well, I need to go ahead and swap over my sheets um, into the dryer. What is in the dryer? Something's in the dryer. Anyways, and wash my comforter and then get the towels going and all that fun jazzy stuff. So, let's go. So, right now I'm going to take me a little break. I just got through sweeping them off in the floor. It's 9.53. My goodness. Oh, Dell's texting me and he was like, so how's it going? I told you I was going to text you every 10 minutes, see how everything's going. And I was like, it's going good. I was like, I'm washing laundry. I'm like, I don't think I have enough laundry detergent to wash the sheets and the comforter on our bed. And he was like, oh, well, don't worry about it. It's not a big deal. And I'm like, it is a big deal. It's a big deal to me. And he was like, why? What's so important about washing the sheets and comforter on your bed? Well, to me, from what I remember from camping, because I don't think he remembers, when you sleep on the ground or an air mattress, it is not very comfortable. So, I don't think he remembers that. And my feeling on the matter is, when we get home after sleeping on the ground or that air mattress, our bed is going to look even more beautiful than usual. You know, it's going to, I mean, you're just going to want to just roll all in it, take your pillow, and just, oh, like, thank gosh, I'm home. I mean, you just want to be buried all up in that. So you want the sheets and the comforter to be nice and clean and smell good. It's just, I don't think he remembers that. So once he, once he gets home and realizes the same thing that I'm telling you guys, he'll change his mind. There he is with that dang TV thing again. Riley? <sighs> that wee. That wee. I'm like sweating to death. Thank goodness I have to take a shower before I gotta go get him. But I just finished sweeping and mopping. I'm going to... I did have enough laundry detergent, um, by the way, to wash the... Um, no, the comforter and sheet. Thank goodness. And I even got the towels done. And I have a little bit left over um, for the rugs in the floor. So while I was sweeping them off, I went ahead and pulled up the rugs. Um, and I'm going to wash those next. So I vacuumed the floor. Um, as soon as uh, the floors are dry, I'm going to go get my comforter out of the dryer. Make my bed. We have to take two of our pillows. Riley Hunter. Hold on. 
Okay, he's very upset with me because I told him he could not play that Wii and to go to his room. So he's back there telling me to go away. No, you cannot play it. No. No. He's very upset. He's going to get in trouble. You better not, Hunter. You better not. Okay, anyways, I have... Sorry, I have a clean next to my hand. I have our pillows over here with some pillowcases on them. I took the sheet that goes with that uh, purple set there. Ooh, my dryer's... I mean, my, my dryer's done. Yes, <laughs> my comforter's done. Um, anyways, I washed the little pillows because those go better with their little, like, mummy-type sleeping bags. But um, my... Mine and Dale's pillow is right there. Um, I put the dark purple sheets on them. I have the dark purple sheet to go on the air mattress, and I washed our light purple sheets. Um, but when we get back, of course, I'll strip those pillowcases off of um, those pillows and then spray them with Lysol and fabric um, softener, which is like my little Febreze type stuff. Throw them in the dryer and um, put our clean pillowcases um, on them. So, yeah, but got all that to do and then I'm gonna put my laundry that's in the basket back there I'll fold it up away vacuum the floor yeah. <laughs> vacuum the floor he's, he's not mad by the way he's doing that on purpose what are you doing uh, yeah I'm wearing my owl pajamas <laughs> Anyways, but that's that's the plan as of right now, though. And then I gotta put the rest of the stuff in the car. I'll show you guys that. I'm still trying to figure out where to put um, Frankenstein's head and the harness so they don't get messed up. Because that would dry a little bit. But I'm gonna put on a little bit of makeup, not too much. I mean, going camping. I doubt I wear makeup the rest of the days that I'm there. But when everybody's kind of like meeting and greeting, I don't often do like looking at me all crazy and plus I washed my face real good in the shower I think I scrubbed it a little too hard it looks a little red I'm gonna try my new foundation this one is uh, the covergirl clean oil control really hoop it works out and this is just an ivory and I have not used a bottle like this in forever I started out using the shake bottle I don't really care for it I do like the little pump one um yeah this one the little pump that's on there it's all like got makeup on it but I like that one um, and I also like this type of little bottle where it's like a little squeeze I like that one I really don't care for the ones like this because it's still like you just never can get enough on there and I looked um, when I got this because I had the idea I was like okay well I'm not wild about the bottle but I thought I had an old um, I think it was like three in one bottle yeah, that's totally my kitchen from bed. I thought I had a three in one bottle and I was just gonna wash it out and you know, use that, but Yeah, that didn't happen. See with this one I always feel like I get way too much on my face. Cause I'm like, well is that enough? Is that not? I'm kinda used to um the little pump thing that I have been using. So I guess we found out. See, it just doesn't look like there's enough on my face. Ah, oh, whatever. We're not going to a beauty pageant. We just don't want to scare people away or have people think she's already wearing her Halloween costume. No, I look like this naturally. <laughs> Anyways. Ooh, getting my face on me and Riley took another quick shower. Even though he had one last night, he was looking rough. Um, in case you guys are wondering why my ear is red, by the way. Uh, I forgot that I took out those earrings when I went to the hospital and I never put them back in. Yeah. So, they were on their way to closing up. So, I was like, I better put something up in there. These over here, they did. They closed up. So, oh well. But, washed my hair so I can have um, nice, clean. Oh, my ears are looking crazy right now that I'm touching them. They're looking all red and crazy. Anyway, so I had nice, clean hair the couple of days that I'm there. Cause my hair lately has been getting oily like really really fast and I think that and like my face getting really really oily and stuff has a lot to do with the PCOS so and then I have had a few like breakout spots so 
it's just kind of a kind of a rough week for me if you know what I'm saying I'm using my other sponge because I don't want to wet my my other one and then put it in the bag I need to get another one and my ears are just looking crazy but I'm just doing kind of a little light hand here on makeup so nothing too crazy I guess that's good Anyways, I gotta go get Dell at 2, and I guess I'll just wait to put the stuff in the car when he gets here, or if I have time, which I don't know if I'll have time or not. Why did I zip that? If I have time, then I'll go ahead and try to put the stuff in myself, but I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Alright. Did I get the one that was like... I don't know. We're gonna find out. I don't know. I don't think I've ever used CoverGirl concealer. If I have, it's been a long time. So we're going to find out. Turn like a crazy woman. I don't know if I like this already. You know, some stuff you can tell, like, you're going to like already, and other stuff you just kind of like, mm, I don't know. Might be my new favorite. Who knows? I'm already hungry, though. I packed the kids extra snacks today so they wouldn't be like starving to death as they claim when they get home from school because we gotta leave like as soon as they get in so I figured pack them a little bit extra so you know they can um, fill up and then that'll do us until we go um, grab pizza kind of worked out well too like with the coupons and stuff you know I love my coupons so it actually worked out pretty good because we were going to do burgers but I just I just didn't want to go to McDonald's to be honest with you and get like some more crappy burgers I mean I don't know that kind of makes for a rough a rough night too when you get like crappy food and then you're not really at home where you can like help yourself in the kitchen so I hope Riley eats Cause he's gonna have a long weekend if he don't eat, so that's gonna stink. Alright, let's look here. Mm -hmm. I know you guys are like, she said she wasn't gonna do all that. I'm not doing much, I'm just trying to cover up my ugliness, okay? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just trying to cover up um, the red. I don't know if it's the sponge or just the foundation. But it doesn't really look like there's a lot on, which, I mean, can be a good thing, but can be a bad thing. I just, I like to cover up my freckles. When I was a kid, I got picked on a lot because of my freckles. So. I got picked on because I had freckles. And my hair wasn't like, you know, everybody else's hair. And I had blue eyes. And then I found it real corn pone. And I worked on changing like my I want to say my voice my what's the word I'm looking for my drawl <laughs> for years because where I lived I was trying to fit in and it just got to the point where I was like forget trying to fit in with these fools nothing I ever do or say is gonna be good enough so forget it yeah so why do they keep playing that song they keep playing that um what is it? Uh, I ain't afraid of no ghost. The one is oh my gosh, y'all know what I'm saying. Back in the day, um, Ghostbusters. Anyways, I'm gonna try to finish up my face here, and if I have enough time, try to get that car loaded, and I'll show you guys that. Um, and then it'll probably be time to go get Dale. And okay, so I just put the stuff in the car. I need to shut the glass here, but I'm gonna show you guys. I don't think we could fit any more stuff in this car, really. Look, <laughs> this is the back end of my car. Yeah, I have to shut this glass. I don't think we can fit any more in this car. Let me show you guys inside. Okay, so yeah, pillows there. There's a cooler there with uh, the backpack for the baby in case, you know, we have to change his diaper on the way. Um, sweater, a little blanket that says, the boys pillows, like I said, Brody usually sits here. Sleeping bags, coolers, fishing bowls, ugh, everything. And we got like the head and the harness over there. I don't think we can fit anymore in this car. Like it is jam packed. I even have to put my makeup kit thing up there. 
which it will not shut. Okay, <laughs> serious problems, but oh no, you don't. She's gonna climb on my makeup, but anyways. Um, the last thing to put in this car will be, of course, everybody. Um, hop down. Oh, thank you. Anyways, uh, uh, uh. I swear, kids. All right, what a mess. Anyways, the last thing to put in here, though, will be, of course, the children. I have a paper bag that has paper plates and napkins in it for our pizza. Um, stop trying to open Daddy's car. And then, like, phone chargers and stuff like that in my purse. Oh, he got it open. Ugh. Okay, anyways. I'm gonna take this kid inside. We are all packed up, and we are in the car and ready to go. So, Dell is inside right now, um, handing in some papers or something, kind of going over, like, a pre-travel something or another. And I guess we're waiting on other families to, um, get here. So the kids and I are sitting in the car, just kind of chilling out, listening to some music, and hopefully he hurries up because I'm really, really hungry. I'm starting to kind of get hangry. I'm ready for my pizza. So I think we're just going to do a pepperoni for the kids and um, a supreme for me and him. And I didn't really think about it, but we're just going to have to figure it out as we go how I'm going to eat pizza driving down the road. So I might fold it up like a taco and eat it, but... Yeah, it's gonna be awesome. So, yep, we're getting ready to hit the road. This ought to be very fun. 